All right, looks like I'm live. So uh, let me check my settings. So I'm trying to look do this uh, StreamYard. So hopefully I can get some people in here. Let's see here. Let's see. Look like it. Butt naked in here. What's up, brother? Bradley? No, oh, what's up? Hey, Tom Kelly. Uh, can you guys see me good? Mm -hmm. All right, Tom KD. Trying to get my dad in here. There's Chrissy. There's Susan. Oh, man. So, let's see. Trying things out, so I'm trying to get used to it. Let's see. Let's see how it looks on my end, guys. I'm going to be going fishing a little bit later with my son and uh, my dad. Yeah, it looks like it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. So, uh, let's see here. Man, I hope everybody's doing great because I am. Um, let's see. Let's see, brand logo. Mm -hmm. all right so let's see here copy that comments let's see if i can get some people in here before i start doing this stuff all right so if anybody wants to jump in here tom you're more than welcome to jump in here man just click on that stream yard um thing and i will uh get you in here no, Dad's going to jump in here with me, I believe. Let me hook up my phone. Try and charge my phone at the same time. Yeah, Susan said, hit that like button. Like I said, I don't know how many likes I get. There's half the screen. There he is. Catfish Terry, hope you're doing good, buddy. Call me in lunch. Hey, that's all right. Wanna, hey, Random, how's it going? How's your headsets doing? Fishing with Grizzly Whiskers. Hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. I'm trying this uh, stream yard. This is the first time I'm using it. So I hope everything's... Hey, Carver. Yeah, buddy. Can you not... When y'all are on this end, can you not see the list of everybody typing? I can see the chat, the comments. No, I know you can, but when you was in my streams... Oh, no, I couldn't. But I was so on my phone. 
I got to go to YouTube to see that then. You know, if I upgrade, upgrade StreamYard, I, you know where it's got the logo at the top right-hand corner? Yeah. I could have it where it had my logo up there. Yeah, but I don't know if they charge. Yeah, you would have to uh, definitely uh, order something. Yeah, they got some kind of upgrade plans where you can have your own background, your own uh, overlay. But hey, that's pretty neat. But yeah, let me go back to comments. All right, it shows I got six people watching. I was going to get Tom Kelly in here. I don't know if he's still in here or not. Tom, if you're still in here, jump on in anytime you want to. Like I say, I got something I want to show you. So show everybody. I was hoping to get Adam in here, but I think he's actually going live right now. So I kind of overlapped his live stream. Yeah, fishing. This actually is my first time using StreamYard. Uh, Catfish Terry went live yesterday using it. Seems like it works really good. Oh, hang on. Dad, I believe. Dad, I believe you muted yourself, I believe. It shows that you uh you muted. That's why I can't hear you at all if you're trying to talk, Pops. There we go. I got you back. Now I can hear you. I'm, try I'm trying to figure out how I can pull YouTube up and still see who everybody who's in the room. Honestly, I would probably put it on your TV. And you can look over and see. Or on your phone. phone. Yeah, we was. Oh, man, yeah. Pretend what he's saying. Right there is what this video is going to be consisting of. Tom's still in here? I Honestly, I don't think so. He ain't a... Uh, Rode in here that much. Not since earlier. Chrissy, you want to jump in? Yeah, Chrissy, come on. Good to see you, Randall. But y'all don't play me no mind. This is the first thing I've had to eat today. Guys, after oh, this. Please. After this live stream, you need to go over to Catfish Terry. He's got a really good video that just uploaded about 15 minutes ago. Thanks, Randall. Six likes right now. You need to see Car Carver Family's video. It's the good video. Yeah, the bad Everybody thing. Everybody needs to see it. 
All right, Tom. Awesome. Yeah, my video it uploaded about one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. So it might have gotten by a lot of people. Fishing with Grizzly, glad to see you, buddy. Buck Naked said, I got elk jerky and no teeth. That means that jerky is going to last a while. Susan, you still in here? Good to see you. Yeah, Chris, uh, buddy, every now and then just uh, keep pasting that link in there where if anybody wants in, they can uh, jump on it. All right. Chris, real Chrissy might want to jump in anytime. <laughs> yeah, I think uh Is that Chris right, Chris? Kind of line myself up. Got a little bit different setup today. Can't say deer stalker, man. Come on in here. Yeah, TN, let me uh, paste this again. Get you up in here. Be happy to have you in here, deer stalker. Here's my guy. Y'all just click y'all just click on that and hang in bite you in there. Yeah, just follow that link. It'll have a little space where you uh put your name at and make sure your uh video can't say long, gotta mo well, you can pull it up in there and watch it or whatever. Yeah, I have yeah you can't watch it in the kitchen. We're in there together. Mike Davis, how you doing, buddy? All right, I hid my banner that way they can see your name and my name. See, I can click this where I show when it pop up Carver Family Fishing, and I can hide it where it show everybody's name. Looks like Catfish Terry might have lagged a little bit. There's Grizzly. Hello, hello. Bring some light on in here. Bring up some light. There we go. Now you can see me. That's a little better. Yeah, I got that Deadpool. I got, I'm sorry, I have issues shirt on today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my I'm sorry, did I offend you shirt? Oh, is that the <laughs> did I offend you shirt? All right. Yeah, that's the offend you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. I seen one shirt that says I have issues. Yeah, I, that's the next one I'm getting. Sorry, I have issues. <laughs> that's my next one. There you go. That's one of the best uh, movies I've seen in a long oh, I love, time. I love, I love Deadpool. Yeah, I, I need some more Deadpool movies. Yep. <laughs> well, look like Carver, uh, Catfish lagged out. So I'm gonna... Yeah. I scared him off. Uh, he said his laptop froze. Uh oh, that's not good. I figured it froze because his whole screen stayed in one position. So, mm -mm. man, my my camera keeps moving on me myself. <laughs> I got a different uh, um, TV that I hook my computer up to, so my my little um, what do you call it webcam don't want to sit up on top. Aha. Uh -huh. Bad thing about it, my webcam, it ain't got that long of a cord, so my cord's only about 
that long. Oh wow! And my modem sits so far down, so my it's not really user friendly. Hey, no. My mic. I got this thing here, and it's got wow. one heck of a cord on it. <laughs> Take that halfway across the room there. Yeah. Just if my webcam was a little bit longer cord, I I'd be set. I see Chrissy. She said, "Read, tell your dad I subbed and subbed him again, please, Carver." All right. So he lost the sub and gained the sub. Let's see. Let's see if Catfish get back in here before I get to my topic. Let's see. I'm gonna go through the uh, the chat here. Hi, G Cup. Uh, How are you? Flow rider. Hey, Billy. You want to jump in here? Be happy to have you in here, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're resting. I'm excited. I've been thinking about you a lot, man. I hope you're doing good. And I seen a video where you said that you had a lot of good news. Good news and more good news. You know, that, that kind of makes sense, Chrissy. YouTube is a strange place. All right, well, never mind. Here, yeah, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's okay. Yeah, he says he's he's naked, so yeah. No. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that kind of a uh, live stream today. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's not a restricted live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like I like being able to go live stream. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep <laughs> we'll keep that there. Uh, yeah. See at the top where it says StreamYard, your little um, HTTPS, whatever. You just copy that and post it in the comments, and they would click on it. Mm -hmm. And I can, who, anybody can jump in here, but only I can control who actually gets shown. A 55 hairy, but have no hair on the head. Big, fat, and naked. Neat. It's okay. <laughs> Naked. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, uh, Pops gets his uh, laptop back going and get him in here. Get him back in here. Let's see here. <laughs> charge my phone up all the way over there so I can go fishing I have plenty of battery life later there you go I'm going to be taking my four year old so he's going to have YouTube to be able to watch oh most definitely Because if he doesn't have YouTube to watch, I'm miserable. Yeah, your fishing trip's kind of shot. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch YouTube. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. Man. Bye, Teacup. I'm going to try to pronounce the name. <laughs> yeah. You think I'd be able to say naked? Naked. In a hip. Redneck way. Nike. 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 I get bugged all the time at work about my accent. I ain't got an accent. They do. Yep. Man. You must be having some issues over there not getting, getting back on there. Hey, Billy, you been feeling all right, buddy? Hey, dear stalker, thanks for coming in. Oh, look at Adam. He's like, come in with those dots. You know what that means. He was live streaming, so we overlapped him. Yep. K 
Catfish Terry is his laptop froze. So hopefully he's trying to get back in here. He's having technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Need one of the uh, colored stripes and screen in the middle for him. And boop, boop. <laughs> the, little, the little Indian with the little yep, ex Exactly. <laughs> Look, Adam say he didn't get no notification. Hey, Adam, you want to jump in here? Adam, this is why I'm going live. What's in the box? What's in the, I don't even know what's in the box. Uh-oh. It's a mystery box. So, a little backstory. I don't know if you caught one of my other live streams. I did a mystery tackle box. Mm -hmm. and I paid like 18 bucks for it, 20 bucks, and it sucked. So I made a challenge to Dad to put together a $20 catfish box that I would actually use. Mm -hmm. So he said challenge accepted. So obviously... There it is. Yeah. Because... Hey, like Adam. Ninety percent of stuff I would not use in these mystery tackle boxes, and we got together and started thinking, man, we're going to start giving some of this stuff out for uh, giveaways and stuff too. There you go. So I'm thinking, like, I'm at two hundred and ten subscribers, so I'm thinking at like subscriber four hundred, maybe I'll give one out. There you go. I just got to figure out a way to be able to give stuff out to make it fair. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I can tell who comes in my live streams and comments and follows better than others. So, I can definitely think I can do that a little bit better. I mean, I don't you want to win a live stream. Hey, Tom. Hello, hello. Follows better than others. So, I can definitely think I can do that a little bit better. What's up? I don't want to win a live stream. Hey, Tom. Hello, hello. hello. Is it working? Better than others. So yeah, it seems like we got some feedback just a little bit. What's up? <laughs> this is Adam. There's Adam with his uh, big fancy mic. Yeah, I know. Look at that big bad boy right there. <laughs> that was a present of the we, we got a uh, Howard Stern from the UK. <laughs> There's Adam with his uh, fancy mic. He's a lot of feedback. I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> We got uh, this piece, uh, Adam. <laughs> That's not even funny, Carver. <laughs> See, I feel like uh, this is on a little, uh, what do you call it? Almost like um, like a podcast, but like a video cast. He's got his nice, fancy mic, his it's headset up. on, a little dark room. Well, I got a little light box as well, just to uh, <laughs> yeah. throw that light off. What happened to Catfish? Which it is like 11 o'clock in the UK. Catfish, his um, laptop crashed. Froze up. What happened to Catfish? It took me a little while to figure this thing out. Hey, it's nice, though. Once you get it figured out. We know where that feedback's coming from because it's really I don't know who's, who's kicking the feedback. Yeah, we got a little feedback. So I'm back, trying to back my sound down, just make sure it ain't me. It no, could be. I turned the volume off my computer, so it's not me. All righty. Well, let me text Dad and see if he's uh, going to get back in here. Adam, Tom, uh, my dad, he posted a video probably about 20 minutes ago. It's a pretty good video. It's like a 10-minute. The one where he caught the two turtles? Yeah. It's hilarious. 
Yes. <laughs> I watched it. And that's right there where I fish at. I've never caught a turtle right there, and he pulls two of them out. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Was, is, is Christy... I'm not too sure if Christy knows the story about um, me and the seal. I don't know. Car Carver, was you in that stream when I was telling the story about the seal? I, I know what you and a seal. That's not um, my, my proudest moment, I'll be honest. <laughs> no, it's not the sound of my phone, uh, Buck. I've actually got my volume down to like 10. Yeah, it's picking up somebody else's uh, volume off another uh, device. I don't know which one it is. Sounds like. Yeah, it's picking up somebody else's uh, volume off another uh, device. I don't know which one it is. I texted Dad. Um, he ain't texted me back yet. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There we go. About then, Sam. There he is. Well, look at there. Hello, hello. He's back in the house. I just had to scroll down. No telling how long he's been sitting down there. He's been sitting in the dungeon <laughs> down there. <laughs> I had uh, what's up, buddy? I had cut the laptop completely off, signed back on. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Adam we got Tom Grizzly. in here. We got Adam the Grizzly. I had cut laptop. Glad, glad to see you in here, Tom. Hey, yeah, doing, Tom? doing good. Well, Dad, I told them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple days off. We don't call a box. Yeah, I think somebody's got their YouTube uh, sound going with this. Uh. Yeah, somebody's got their YouTube volume up. Look, it went in the in the, in the chat. Yeah, I think somebody's got their YouTube sound going with this. Is it is it me? Let me just all right, let me just meet my mic. See if it's me. Yeah. No, not that one. Getting a lot of feedback. Ah, it's it's coming from Tom. Yeah, it's coming from Tom. I'm going to shut this Tom, off. You all and turn it back on and see what happens. All right. I'll be back in a few. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it's where it's at, doesn't it? Yeah, it's easy done, too. Yeah, you got to mute your YouTube and watch it on, uh, or vice versa. I mean, yep. I don't know how you mute your stream yard. You, when I tried muting it, y'all couldn't hear me. Yeah. Yeah, when you mute on stream yard, it looks like you're muting yourself. Is this free with your box? Yeah. It's it. For that, I was telling a Grizzly earlier that I subscribed to that mystery tackle box for like $18 yeah. and it was trash. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah you I, don't get much of uh, anything you can use. Then you've shorted two things on top of it. Yeah, Grizzly, I was shorted two things. They're supposed to be oh, sitting Lord. out. Yeah, I did one. What is it? I did one, and I was it. I keep getting the same thing over and over again, so I just canceled it. I'm like, I've already got that. I don't need it again. Yeah, that happened to me, too. I got the same hooks. I was like, I don't need those same hooks again. <laughs> Can have a big old pile in the corner here if you keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's tough. That right there. Got a catfish Terry subscription box. There you go. Even complete with uh his logo even slapped. There you out. go. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, well, he gave me a few days ago and I haven't even opened it up. I had things collectors out of them. It might be worth money not to even open it. Yeah, I may not even be able to open it. Yeah, there you go. Just put it in the might shelf. Have, might have an alien pop out of it, Adam. Yeah. 
<laughs> Came from Area 51. <laughs> yeah, straight from Area 51. Sweat. I wish Tom popped, popped back in here. I hate because he left. Yeah, I know. I like to get Tom back in here before I open it up. Yeah, no, yeah. Like I said, I was going to make just a regular video on it, but I love going live. And it's more fun opening up these boxes live where people can join in and talk about it. But, uh, man, it's about the times it over there at, at Adams. What's that, baby? What's that, baby? Come on. Come on. Yeah, Buck said that uh, Terry mailed me a cat. Well, <laughs> hey, it might be a full legged one. Might, might be a pole cat. <laughs> I started seeing Adam one just put a bunch of flies in there, and by the time he got it, he would have had his bait. <laughs> <laughs> I had it multiplied. <laughs> yeah, some some flies and a thing of meat, and it'd be right when he got to them. Uh, he yeah, he would have had a box of yeah. Yeah, they'd be fresh the time they got here. Yeah. They said it's pretty good to eat, right, Adam? Yeah, definitely in the winter as well. <laughs> <laughs> well I, don't, I can't believe you don't even fish with maggots. Like, I think I'm crazy yeah. over there or something. We got a lot bigger selection down bait around here, man. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm gonna fish for anything. It'd be something like I don't know how good you can see that mealworms. There you go. I won't even <laughs> use them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will have to get Adam back uh, eventually. He uh, he's got a hedgehog <laughs> that poops a log. That's not my hedgehog. I just found it. In, oh, uh... okay. <laughs> Hey, Life Avengers, how's it going? Thanks for joining in. It, it does mean a lot that you guys joined in. Uh, it says I got like seven people. We're, we're kind of waiting on Tom to be able to see if he'd be able to jump back in here. Like I say, I got a, I got a box I want to unbox. It's all fishing products, I guess, I believe. That's what he says it is anyways. I was trying to find a handful of bait to show Terra. This is what um, 90%, well, 100% of the time that we use. I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I was watching that video the other day, Adam, and it had those little uh, boilies. Boilies? Yeah, boilies. Yeah, I, yeah boilies. Like strawberry, man, that actually looked uh, kind of tasty. And you see it. Oh, yeah. Strangler's yeah. going, he's going to unbox his box. Uh, you know, honestly, that looks really good, Adam. Did you watch the video? Is it working now? I thought I had good cats both times. I know, especially the second. Sounds like it's working a lot better, Tom. He just stayed there, but he was fine. After I put the bait. Threw my bait away. He went on in the water. I cut the hook. So I hope we're doing pretty good on the lead uh, on the live stream. Uh, and the uh, last one was a uh, random and uh, live. How's the live? Calvary threw his map and pinching on his legs. Uh, Calvary's giving me some uh, arms, but some. But uh, he's going to do his unboxing. <laughs> I was watching. I think I heard but, Chelsea laugh in the background. Yeah, you did. Mm hmm Oh, there's hey, Carver Tom. outdoors. <laughs> What's up, him. guys? He's crashing the stream. I got a little tip. Hey, Tom. You doing all right, Tom? I think, Tom. Does Tom have his sound muted now? No, he don't got it muted. No, he just he's kind of processing slow. 
Yeah, oh, it is. It is lagging up on them. It looks like. Yeah, it's about like the problem I had at first. Oh. I'm kind now, of I like the, now I feel like the Brady Bunch. Story. Oh man! <laughs> hey, we we got the Carver bunch. <laughs> hey, uh, Carver, you see the list of names to over to your side. Um, uh, I see where everybody, my everybody who's in the room. It's just I don't see a list of names. I see comment. Well, you know where everybody writes. Oh, yeah, my comments. If you click on any of them, and it'll throw their banner across the screen. Oh, really? A lot of both. Oh, man, I love that. So I can uh, kind of highlight you, someone. Yeah, you can call them out as they come in and stuff. Hey, that is awesome. See, I'm, I'm loving this. I am. Hey, Life Adventure. Glad to see you. All right. I'm well, gone again. Yeah. He must have a little bit of issues. Hey, Tracy, I sent your message earlier where you, you logged out and logged back in. Maybe that'll get you where you get my notification. I'll have to check that out. Glad to see you, though, Life Adventures. But Random. Buddy, how you doing, Random? I'm having a look at my phone, see who's in here. I'm having too much fun with that they're popping that at those, those uh it looks like Tom's got it working pretty good now. Back, Tom? Uh, I think I do. <laughs> you think it would let us see everybody who's in here too, just like it does you. Yeah, I know. <coughs> There's Ultimate Shoe Tube. Up, Ultimate. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for joining our hey, live. Tom, are, are you working now, Tom? No, I'm at home now. Uh, no, I mean on the screen, buddy. Good, Did you watch the video? Is it working now? Somebody's. Uh, I know. Especially. Uh, we got that. working a lot better, Tom. Yeah, I'm heading to the lake in the morning. Yeah. Me and Cutfish too are supposed to be going fishing here in about another hour or so. We got to go catch some bait before we actually try. Hey, uh, Tom, are you on your computer? Yeah, I'm on my laptop. Uh, do you have StreamYard up and YouTube? I was watching. I think I heard. Uh, you I think so. Yeah, you did. If you would uh, mute YouTube, you should be able to hear us on StreamYard. Okay. And that should stop that feedback. I don't hear nothing now. I yeah. don't hear anything. Yeah, that's, that's good it. there. That's the one. Is that working? All right. Yeah, cool. yeah. It gives feedback when uh, YouTube's playing with it because they said it's like it. a thirty-second delay on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I just turned YouTube off. Yeah. Oh. But it's good seeing all y'all. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's working good now. Yeah, I had to do the same thing. It's uh, YouTube's like a thirty-second delay. Right. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start opening this box up if you guys don't mind. Let's see what you That's got. Fine. All right. First thing, if you guys watched Catfish Tears, a little uh, stream last night, uh, I brought my fillet knife. Not really. It's not my fillet. Don't, don't do like bait him, do you? Uh, I don't even know what he did. I must have uh, stopped looking. Look at that. Look at that red Look thing. That. Look down there. Hey, I got to show mine too, buddy. There you go. 
Here we go. Look at there. Yeah. I guess I got to go this way. Point. <laughs> there we go. Down. It's a lot harder than it looks. Sharp. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I'm trying to point. I'm pointing different directions. All right. Like I say, I don't know what's in here. It could be a bunch of snakes. That pot, where it ain't gonna be a bunch of snakes. <laughs> yeah, you know it ain't gonna be no snakes. That's right. It ain't gonna be no uh, baby flies. It ain't gonna be no spiders. Terry, I saw your two big turtles tonight. It ain't gonna be plain. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Those suckers, man. Each time I thought I had me a good catfish. I've caught a few of them. Hey, we're fine to catch though. I uh, they are, but a little disappointing when I finally seen them. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I thought I, I thought I had me a couple good catfish. Yeah, I did but that I not too it. long ago. I went out and uh went catfishing and I caught ten of the, ten of them suckers in a row. Yeah. At uh, I think hey, right I had kind of one other hit, man. It about took my rod in the water. I believe it was a cat, but it was it was fun, but it was disappointing too. All right, the big thing about this box, we got to remember, the mystery tackle box costs eighteen dollars with crap. You know, catfish, how much you got in this box? You want to know how much I got or how much you got? <laughs> yeah, how much do I got in this box? I got $22 in it. $22. So uh, this is going to be stuff that I know I'm going to use. So first thing first, pliers. Hey. Definitely going to use it. I need to put a beeper on it because I have a bad tendency to losing these every trip I go on. <laughs> and you might have to do some wiring while you're while you're fishing too. You know? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> hey, Life Adventures. Oh, Tom Kelly's his site. Life Venture won't know Tom if you got a channel, but uh, go in there and hit them up. Yeah, Tom's got a great channel. Uh, been doing a lot of fishing. He's been doing Adam's, everything. Got a Adam's got a channel too. Adam Brown. Yeah, uh, do Adam you want me Brown. to drop links? Carver, is that all right with you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care if you want to drop the link. I don't I don't know how to do it on StreamYard. If I had moderator, like if Chelsea was in here, well, she'd be dropping links like crazy. Well. I mean, Adam could do it on there. Yeah, because Adam's a moderator. And I think yeah. Tom's one, too. So, man, drop some links. Let them let them grab you guys. Yeah, Life Adventures just asking. So, yeah, let them know your channels. and. Hey, Life Adventures. All right, so that's number one, pliers. Definitely right. got to use these things when you got a big old catfish and you don't, the mouth gets so small, you got to get down in there. Or turtles. Yeah, turtles. All right, number two. Look at there. Now I can actually <laughs> take one that I know ain't going to mess up. I don't mind messing up a nice pocket knife from Ozark Trail. That'd be good for some turtles. Or if anybody wants to walk up behind you. Because <laughs> dad's been known to have people walk up behind him while he's fishing. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times. Let's see. I got a bad glare as always. So here's a Johnson. Get a little crappie jigs. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. It's your skipjacks, man. Go get you some skipjacks with them. So this has got how many in it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten pack. There you go. Pack these old jigs. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the skipjack will wear these suckers out. So, so far, a knife, 
pliers and little skipjacks, that's already stuff I would definitely be using. Nice heavy duty scissors where I can cut my skipjacks up if I don't want to dirty I'll up the you, you got a tool. I'll tell, you, I, <laughs> I tell you, I use those scissors all the time to cut my brim heads off and the, yep. like I say, cut my skipjacks with still using a knife anymore. Yeah, that's the only thing that, that sucks about uh, fishing out here to, uh, in California. You have to use, uh, you know, their designated their designated baits. Oh, really? Do you, you can't really? Use, you can't use any caught game fish. You can't use the bluegill. You can't use any of that. Oh wow! Man, you have to use the shad. You have to use shad or uh, whatever they whatever they approve. It's like good lord. You know, country woman tell me y'all can't fish at night time. Is that right uh, or no? In California, you can fish at nighttime. We fish out there all the time. Yeah, she's saying some bet you wasn't allowed to fish at night. Huh? I don't know. I've never heard that. That'd I don't know rough. what part of Florida, uh, California, she's in, but I don't either. Three pack of floats. Get that like break head off the ground, off the bottom of the. Uh, lake. There you go. Definitely use these. Car, uh, catfish, you use these on every one of your rigs, don't you? Yeah, pretty well. Hold your bait off the, the bottom? Yeah. You get it up off the bottom? Yeah. You I know, they the use those. Uh, Dieter and all of them uses those, and they get them. They mainly use them because they get sent to them to advertise. I promise those, you. Those uh, demon dragons? Demon dragon, yeah, but I can't I can't spend no seven dollars for a demon dragon and hang up and lose that thing. Yeah, and then lose it. At least a circle but, uh, and an eight dollar demon dragon. Those, those little floats, they're really cheap too. I, I got a bunch. Yeah, of them. the floats would do the same thing the demon yeah. dragons do. I mean, if they want to send me a bunch of them, I'll use them. I'll use them all but day. I can't afford to buy those things, especially as hangy as some of my spots are. A 40 pack of these little rod and bobs, fluorescent beads. Comes with 20 small and 20 large. And that's definitely a need above your, uh, your, man, what are you yeah. blanking, man? I am blanking up. Oh, we just lost um, whiskers. Yeah, I use those above my swivel. The white. Yeah, swivel. And the white. So I don't cut your line. Tear your, your, tear your line up. That'd be, that's perfect for that Carolina rigging. Mm -hmm. Buddy, throw you your link back, back up there. Up there. Grizzly got stuff. knocked off. Yeah, I just threw my link back up there. Hopefully he can get back in here. So you're going to fish tomorrow, Tom? Oh, yeah. I'm leaving I'm leaving the house here about 4 o'clock in the morning and heading down to the lake. Hey, there's Colt. Carver Outdoors. Outdoors up in here. He has a great fishing toolbox. Come on in here. Yeah, get him in here. Have some fun. He had yep. my mug on his last video. <laughs> Swivel. Jump in the room, buddy. There you go. Got to have those swivels. I'm losing. Okay. I needed these. I've been losing a ton of them. Yeah, that last video with uh, Carver Outdoors and Tom Kelly, that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. He does yeah, a really, really good job. He's really good. I really like that, Tom. Let's see here. Three pack of pink floats. There you go. Definitely a need. I'm running out of room over here. This is all in one box. One box. Wow. One, two, three, four. I got to do my own boxing still. Eight. I got eight products. That's more than my other boxes. Four pack of these egg sinkers. So, uh, let's see, size one. 
Whoop. put one out. So here we go. That's definitely got to use it. That's the spots we're fishing. Needed those too. I was about out of them. Terry, what size sinker do you use when you catfish? I'm using a three ounce myself. Got pretty strong Hold current it. there where you fish at. Up there in my depot, it is the where they're pulled the water so much. Yeah, it's a it's got a pretty good current underneath, and it wants to pull them down. It's still I might have to go a little heavier. It's still the other night, man, it got my lines all tangled up. Certain nights you can get away with it, but uh, lately, man, they've been pulling that water so up and down lately. It, it yeah, was they're weird. pulling ours right now. The other night when we was fishing, Dad had two poles out going different directions. Wow. He grabbed this pole, lifted up, and this one would go down. He <laughs> pulled this one up, and this one would go down. And it was two different directions. Wow. So it had to be like a log tree land tree that floated down and got right up above and over top the other one like say it was, it was just a lot different. right it was a lot of trash the other night being pulled down there you wind up breaking what both of those off didn't you yeah well, our lake's got to come down about five more feet and then we'll be right where we need to be at really but it's it's that's getting a lot better that's unreal as long as we don't get no hurricanes or anything up here and flood them out again yeah some hog wild sponge three pack of those treble hooks perfect for your dip bait stink bait yeah that's a must-have yeah i love the little sponges man it <laughs> some more of the hog wild bait holders like say, Tom, you sent me some of these too. Yep. I, honestly, the ones that you sent me, I think I already lost them. <laughs> the two catfish I caught, them, they long. swallowed them up. So I lost my hooks in those cats. Yeah. You can always take those treble hooks and tie it back on them though. Yeah. And uh, like Dad said, also using a uh, one of those circle hooks in these things would work even good too. Yeah. Well, here's a couple more things. You can't have a catfish Terry box without some decals. Got three pack of decals over here. Cool. I wanted to put eight by ten glossy in there and I couldn't get down to the Walmart's quick enough. Yeah, that as long as it ain't like that eight by ten glossy of uh a Christmas picture you gave uh, your mom about 10 years no. ago. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we was going to have a uh, hillbilly in here, but he wasn't YouTube ready. Let's see. Here we go. Some catfish dough bait. Charlie type A. 14 fluid ounces. Thankfully, it's still in the seal. Yeah. See, I don't, this is what we use over here. Uh, when you hear me talk about dip bait and dough bait, stink bait, this is what right. we're using. So, like, is that like a paste? Is it a paste? Yeah, it's like a paste, like a very stinky, nasty paste, which you guys probably got it over there for your carp fishing, too. Yeah, we've got pigs. So, we wrap the, we wrap, um, the boilers up in that if we've got say uh crayfish yeah so it just takes longer for him to get to the boiler it's got plastic over it but it might as well not have hey this box was smelling right so it might have some adam baits in here it's like in walmart you always know where when you're in the catfish section oh man you smell <laughs> it in a heartbeat and a uh, catfish dough bait to Charlie type B so it's type A and type B I don't I need to check see which ones something's got to be the just B's, the B's what you've been catching your fish on 
Yeah. And there's that. I think it's just a l little bit more. Well, the bee's blood bait, and the other one's a shed bait. <laughs> if yeah. cat, this one's been opened. This one's been doctored too, so that's why it stinks a little bit more. Shoo. Adam, if you get a small round package from me, it's going to be some dough, <laughs> opened up dough bait. <laughs> So when I get your address, you smell your package first before you open. I don't think that'll make it through customs. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> That's right, life adventure. You got to lose it. To... Hey, Grizzly. Hey, let Grizzly in, yo. All right, here he's back. He's back. Let me send you this link. He's saying knock, knock. Who's there? There's Grizzly. He's backstage. Hey, Extreme Outdoors, glad to see you. That's some good stink. Oh, man, some really good stink. <laughs> when it makes my eyes water, I know it's going to catch stuff. And the last item in my box, you can't have Here's a... See, we ain't forgot about all y'all. Without Catfish Terry Special Cured Garlic Chicken Liver Bait. He cured it himself, garlicked up. You talking about something smelling right? And good thing about this stuff. Did Terry make that? Yeah, he done it himself. Can you eat that? I I've been using it over and over. Uh, he's got it like a little dry seal bag, but since he's Back cured it, out, it uh, it's gonna stay on your hook when you throw it out. And even garlic like, chicken. Yeah, chicken liver. I so really you get it. My bait. What's that? Once you get it out, throw it out, it stays on your hook good. But once you get it in the water, it just kind of rehydrates it. You know. It goes back to its normal self. And you check your bait and it's still there and you throw it back out. You know, regular chicken liver, you got to barely throw it out because it slings off the hook so easily. Yeah, it's going to come off. But this stuff here, not going to come off. Fishing with Grizzly says you got to let me in, Carver. Oh, uh, look at me. I am slacking, man. <laughs> you left him in the cold. Oh, Grizzly's coming back. <laughs> there he is. I've been sitting watching the whole stream going, hey, let me in. Knock, knock, hey, I can let me in. Hey. <laughs> I'm so not used to having to let people in. <laughs> I, Trisha I'm said so open it up. People that didn't want to come in. Where's Carver at? Where's Carver Outdoors at? He said he couldn't come in the stream right now, so. Chrissy says, oh, yum. Open it. Yeah, that, can, could you eat that? Like, like, eat. I eat that. I think anybody can eat it, but oh, what yeah. comes after eating it is a different story. Yeah, I wouldn't advise eating it. <laughs> <laughs> because it takes chemicals to tear them out. Maybe. Yeah, growing up, we used pantyhose for chicken liver. Now it's illegal here. Casually, it's so tough to sit in the boat to fish. Yeah. So but I don't think it. I don't think it's that bad a box for twenty two dollars. Twenty two dollars. Oh, wow. Recap: chicken liver, tight bead, blood bait, dough bait. Type A. Hog wild. I'm sitting there showing the bait to the blue, to my microphone like an idiot. <laughs> Hog wild. Some more sponges. Floats. More floats. Some beads for your rigging. And if you need beads, you're going to have to have the sinkers and the swivels in that order. Some really good scissors to be able to cut my brim heads off. It looks like Chris is just a little laughing. Y'all. Nice. 
some bitter boo. Terry, I'd be falling asleep in that chair if I was you. <laughs> Hey, I mean, about, it's pretty I'm relaxed. About done it. I ain't had about three hours sleep. And, and he's wanting to go uh, fishing tonight. I'm pretty tired. New I night. got in last night. I got in bed about about twelve thirty and got back up at four. So that's but it does set good, out. man. So that's what one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like thirteen items in here for twenty-two dollars. When my other mystery tackle boxes would only be about four to six items for eighteen dollars. If they're in the box. So you guys tell me what's the better value? Now it is now would make get my Walmart discount on it too though. Okay. What? Well, that's that trade that just cost me twenty two dollars. Yeah, but still, that's so, I'd rather spend a little bit I'm, more on product I would definitely use and spend eighteen dollars. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use. Yeah, and a lot of that stuff you get, it is stuff they just got too much of it and they stick it in a box and charge you for it. So I wanted to go fishing. The hub said he's too tired. How's that for turnaround? Oh wow. <laughs> Like say, uh, mystery tackle box. I won't be going back if I'm gonna. If I need products, I'm just gonna hand some money over to the person I know, gonna get me a better box. And I may not. We can put together some bass box, crappie box, panfish box, and have stuff just for you to open up, buddy. Yeah, we're. And I told them like when I hit 400 subscribers, I'm gonna make a box and somehow do some kind of rifle, do some kind of giveaway and send out a uh, a box of someone's choosing. Either a catfish box or a uh, bass box or something. Beard box. A beard box. I can definitely, there you go, beard box. definitely do a beard box. Hey, I'm actually working out a deal with Mountaineer brand to get a couple of them come live with me and do a uh, a beard care review with there you go. beer brand uh, employees that does their live feed. So, well, believe it or not, I'm a, a uh, ambassador for uh, Ferocious Beard Beard Company. So, oh really? Yeah. So they send me stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm ambassador for the uh, Mountaineer brand, and they there send you go. quite a bit of good stuff. Like, man, you got to have that beard care stuff. Yeah. Like I, I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a the decent beard and I shaved it all off. The one who needs a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a decent one and I, I had it growing out for two years and come get married. I figured shave it. I feel it. bald in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Hey Tom, that old uh, that video I made today that was a good picture on it, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it was uh, good and clear. I really liked it. Beautiful quality video on that. Yep. Yeah, I liked it. that. Dang guy came through there mowing, and man, I, I he was I making a racket on it. Yeah. yeah, and then one part of it, he drives right in front of the camera and everything. That's the reason I added the music to it like I did. Yeah. Because That's man, it was bird it was birds hollering and everything it was going to be a good video. They decided to come in there and cut the grass today. Hey, it had some beautiful sunsets there. But that was a good yeah. video with you catching turtles too. So it made the perfect <laughs> you know, turtles and um mowers and that reminds me of someone else's luck that's on YouTube. And you see the two deers when I was leaving. I, I stopped and got the deers on camera. Then it was a car coming up on me. I had to get on out of the way. Yeah, there's a ton of deer down there. I was fishing down at the lake one day, and uh, it was getting dark. And I heard something behind me, and it was a big old doe walked right behind me. 
Rough. Yeah. Scared the heck out of me, actually. <laughs> Tom, do you live in your lake house or do you have another house too? No, we have a house and then we, we I generally go down there on my weekends off. See. Man, so it's we, looking it's, good. We uh we got that place about two years ago and it's Rough. it's been a a work in progress i mean it's it's taken a while to fix this place up it's looking good man it's getting there i'm hoping someday to go down there and actually enjoy it and just fish and not have to worry about working on it yeah i know that, that's when it'll be fun won't it yeah me ralph go down there fishing and you like well i actually need to get this done and this done right I just finished, uh, put a new metal roof on it. I just finished it. Yeah, All right, guys, I'll be back. I got to take care of some stuff. So, I agree. So, thanks for stopping in, man. I really do. No problem. Thanks for having me. See you, Grizzly. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll hey, come back again. So, yeah, anytime. See you guys. It's been fun, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving yeah, it, man. I enjoy this. Mm -hmm. It makes it more fun when you can have a bunch of other people jump in, too. Yeah. I, I tell you the only thing, and I do the same thing, but uh, we got to kind of keep, and it's rough when you can't see it, but we got to kind of not forget about Chrissy and Life Adventures and all the people on the sidelines. I know. And, uh, it's yeah, easy it, to over, overlook them. Does that show up on your own screen? Because I'm not seeing them on here anywhere. I'm having to use my phone to check them out. That's what I'm going to do. That, that's the only bad thing about this. Now, uh, Carver, he can see them all. Yeah, I can see it on my side. <laughs> so, buddy, you just got to kind of not do the same thing, but kind of keep an eye on everybody. And what I'm say, trying I like, to do is pop up where I can show up my I like, newest I like comment. I like doing I'll that right up. there where you, can, where you can call them out. Are you on, oh, okay. um, I like it. Are you on computers? Um I like that right there, though, where you can pop them up and call them out. Yeah, the Life Adventures, Chris, and all of them, we ain't forgot about you. Yeah, definitely not. But you wouldn't have to worry about it, too, Chrissy and Life Adventures, if y'all come on in here. Yeah, Chrissy. Uh, so how many people late. can we put on here? You can put Six? Six. Yeah. So that's the perfect amount. We got four. Get Chrissy in here and Life Adventures in here and Keto. Got Extreme Outdoors was in here. Yeah. Life Adventures said that she's still working. Yeah. Is she? Uh, but yeah, I just, I do the same thing, but kind of try to keep an eye on your people on the sideline, buddy. Oh yeah, definitely. And I, I, I try helping too, but but uh, it's pretty awesome. I like it though. <laughs> Life See, adventure. So she's got all his. Adam, I'll send you a picture of what I'm looking at. How it looks on my side, in case you ever wanted to do Don't it. Tell the boss. That sounds like Carver family. He goes around work and sneaks and. Gets in on mine when he's at work. I do. I push. I do a um, work at Walmart where they got that little pickup today where people orders online. So I'll go out there and pick everybody's food. And there's a tray that sits on the back of my cart, and that's where I lay my phone down. So I'm sitting and pushing my cart, and watching, and kind of trying to type in. A lot of times I got the volume down low where. No one sees it. Yeah, it's a new toy, Life Adventures, like I say. Well, Chrissy says, zip it. Zip it, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> so, since I'm over in the UK, I'm interested about these floats, these so-called floats that you use. Mm -hmm. Because I've never seen anything like that. So, why would you use something like that? I like about, getting like, the bait up off the bottom get the bait up off the bottom because if you throw it out there and just fishing on bottom that bait can fall down in the crevices of rocks or anything and but you get it up off the bottom a little bit 
they can see the bait and get it a lot easier. So it's got like a little cut down in there that you put your line in. It's got these little stobs that kind of pinches that line in on each side. Use about a foot, right. about an 18 inch leader and put it about six inches above the hook and it'll get it up off the bottom. <clears throat> I'm just thinking what type of rig we'd use over there for, um, for like a carp. And the only thing I could think of is either a chud rig or have you ever heard of helicopter rig? No. I'm no. kind of helicopter rigs sounds familiar. So you'd have uh, think about something else. Like a, a Y'all ever use the sinker slides? Oh wow. Tom, I've been wanting to try them. They'd be really good on braided line, but I've been wanting to try them and they're always out of them when I go. Terry, I got a bunch so. of them. I'll send you some. I've Do got about a really? hundred of them. I've still got to find you, those flies, got, but I got traveling 30 pound on my main line. Then I got my sinker slide with the bead, then a swivel, then a 50 pound leader. And then I'll put me a, I'll put me a float right here. And I'll put a float right here to hold it off the, off the bottom. And I tell you, I fished them both ways. And a 90% of the time, the one with the float will, will catch the fish. I thought catfish were bottom feeders. Did they not be used it to the bottom? I don't it still ain't getting it that high off the bottom. It's just getting it it's up. Just yeah, it's off, just right. barely coming off the bottom. Right, right, yeah, right. it ain't coming off the bottom much. But it's getting, them, getting it up out of the rocks and stuff where they can actually see it and everything. Because you lads don't use hair rigs, do you? You have, you have just, you ever seen a hair rig before? Have you ever seen one of them? No, I've heard y'all talk about them, but I have never seen one. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can show you my uh, rig baits. My, my Adam, I still got to get over there and check your videos out. I ain't even got to do that yet. <laughs> it's all right. I've got, I've got one to hand. I'll show you a, um, a hair rig quickly. But I'm wanting to get over there and see it. Now, did you see that picture he sent of uh, Carver Tom, his setup over there? I haven't seen that. Man, he's got a setup over there. It's unreal. Looks like I'd he had a the whole studio here. over there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, his fishing setup out on the water. Oh, really? He, yeah, I haven't he seen had it. That. He had it set up nice. Right, I'll see if you can see. Right, so this is the hook. Can you see the hook? Yeah. Okay. So this is the hair. All right. So normally you'd put the bait on there. So when it sits on the bottom, whatever takes whatever takes your bait would suck it up along with the hook. Because you over there, <clears throat> you guys over there obviously use straight to the hook, don't you? You put all your bait on yeah. the hook. So you don't put no bait on the hook. No, no. So we use. I've never the hair. seen that before. So whatever's uh -huh. feeding on the floor, it will take the bait in, and as it blows the bait out, if it can feel the line, it will then hit the bottom. So, I don't so you have the whole, the entire hook exposed. Yeah. Wow. Hey, uh, Adam, are y'all mainly fishing mud bottoms and stuff over there? Um, so that's just one of the rigs. So we fish a lot of like um, clay rigs and uh, clay bottom. Um, so if you was to fish, say a clay bottom, that's where we have a thing called um, a chud. It's called a chud rig, um, and that is basically so you have a lead on the end of your of your line. You can either fish it through a leader or you can either fish it naked. So I normally fish them naked, so you'd have a lead, which you would um, tie. So, you, so your lead is the very end. And what you have is, it's, um, it's like a running rig. So a chug looks like this. So this is a chug. I don't know if you can see this. And that is how big it is. Let me see. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. All right. So, <clears throat> so this is just a big swivel. And that will just run up and down the line. So as the lead sinks into the silt, that will just sit on top. So as the lead disappears into the silt, that will just slide up the line. So it's not ever getting pulled into the silt. That makes sense. Yeah. And that and that's just the same. That's just got a, um, a little elastic band on the back, which we use to put one up, which just snapped. But we use boilies on the back of that. So we just uh, like use a baitle needle to put a boilie on the back of that. But that will never, ever go into the silt. That's you amazing. know, Adam, you got, you got a lot of great content that you could add for people in the U.S. to learn about. Yeah, that's new to me. I've never seen that before. Is, um, see, I, I'm, I like to make my own rigs. And the last rig that I made is a, a combi. Um, it's called a combi rig. So it's basically, if I can get it off the board. Tom, well, I gotta get in here and find those power flyers too. Hey, life, appreciate it. See you, life adventures. Thanks for coming by. Hey, yeah. go check out all their sites, oh life adventures. Check Tom and Adam and Carver family's got a great video up on. Know if you've seen it yet, Tom. The other night he made, but uh, <clears throat> check them all out, life. Appreciate it. It's a 16 minute video, but it don't feel like it's 16 minutes. No, nah, it so, goes by it's an hour and 16. No? Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Ignore me. Um, <laughs> so this is, I'll show you this quick. So this is, I always make my own rigs. So this is a combi link. So this is like a 20 pound, uh, like a mono. So this is stiff and that's tied onto a piece of braid. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Mm hmm so if this so this rig likes to reset itself so that's just the same concept with a hair so your bait would be on there with a hook so if a fish was ever to pick this up it would always take it but because this is like a stiff boom it would always fall back away from the lead which sits on the end of this so this is a re so basically this is always resetting itself when it gets picked up so that's the most re reliable rig i will always use that's the combi link. It's good. I, uh, see, Adam, what's the name of those ball things you and Chelsea make, Adam? Uh, we call them boilies. Um, I've got a handful there. I, uh, did you see them before, Tom? I'm not too sure. The little boy, uh, the little balls we call them boilies. I haven't seen no. them. Mm -hmm. I think dad even timed out that one time when he was showing them off. Yeah, I didn't get to see them. <clears throat> so, this is the number one, not well, yeah, it's the number one type of bait over here in the UK. So, these are boilies. So, what we'd normally do is the hair that you've just seen on that rig, we use like a baiting needle. So we push the baiting needle through the boiler and then we put the bait onto the hair with a stopper. So that's like mm -hmm. on the hook. So then what I normally do is, so if I was to turn up at a lake within five minutes of putting my rods together with that rig on it, just a handful of them. So one of them is gonna be one with a hook. So when a fish comes and feeds, he's got pickings really but they're like the number one type of um fishing bait over here for carp anyway mm. so they're boilers loads yeah. of different flavors yeah these are strawberries these are so y'all actually y'all actually chum out there for um, then you, yeah, get your... you could call it chum and we we kind of call it like a pre-baiting um these lads yeah who, who i know um they will so say if they're after a big carp, they will go and pre-bait an area for maybe days or weeks um, yeah. just, to, just to catch this one carp. Um, and it could be just as simple as a handful of sweet corn every night before they finish work or like five kilos of boilies every day. Yeah. But yeah, we, we like to do a bit of pre-baiting. 
Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some videos on them doing that and everything. It's pretty neat. Because I was talking uh, to Carver. Um, you guys don't use, uh, but you don't use back leads, do you? What's that? Do, do you know what a back lead is? <laughs> no, nah, not really. Um, right, so <clears throat> a back lead is basically a free running lead. So we, when we fish in choppy conditions, like so, if you was to fish in your lake and you've got your boats and whatnot swimming around, um, so we'd have our rods facing into the water. So if, for instance, this would be the lake, we'd have our rods pointing in to the lake like this. But before we put the lakes in, uh, the rods in, this is free running back web. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, nah, I haven't. So this is a clip. So that's just a clip with a lead uh, weight with just rubber around it. So when you've cast in, you'd clip that onto your line. Uh, so let me see, let that go through. So say this is your line, that would go on it and you'd hold your line up and that would slide into the lake and take your um, your line. So that will pin your line to the bottom of the lake. Mm -hmm. So say if this is your rod tip, you won't get any readback information off the wakes, off the boats and uh, jet skis and stuff. So you know if you've yeah. got a run or, or a slight nudge, it's going to be coming from a fish and not the weight. If that makes sense. So that's what yeah. we always use over here. That's a, it's a flying bat lead. Do y'all have a lot of boater problems and stuff over there too? Um, <clears throat> on one of the lakes near me, um, it is actually a marina and that's the number one way how pretty much all the lads will fish on there because of uh like pleasure boats and jet skis and whatnot and it's just basically keep your, your line as tight as possible and i'm pointing to the lake so there's just no read back coming off everyone yeah. else okay, i know the other day man we was having a ton of boaters and jet skiers flying past us Creating some big wakes, and it's just as something as simple as that. I don't, I, I don't know why. Like you never heard. I know it sounds stupid, but it's like across the pond, isn't it? But it's just as simple as a flying bat lead, really. But saying that, I've never heard of one of these bait floats, so something new I've learned tonight. If Chrissy said they look like gumballs, <laughs> and they smell like them as well, they smell amazing. <laughs> really. They look good. Strawberry crush, they smell amazing. <laughs> I tell you, and I don't know what it them. was. Back when we was teenagers, a bunch of our buddies would get together and go catch carp. And they always sold this pack of dough bait. You might remember it, Tom. Oh, yeah. But it was white and it had a real vanilla like smell to it. Mm -hmm. It always smelled real good, but man, it. You, it would wear the carp out, though, make little dough balls. I had a, and, uh, I had a buddy that was a carp fisherman, and he, he made his own dough ball out of uh, jello, different flavored jello. Really? Yeah. We used to go catch them just for the fun of it, just to have something, you know, hitting back in and everything, mm -hmm. and we'd go out to the streams, and we'd wear them out. And they was always fun to fight and everything. Mm -hmm. And we'd go to the, actually the marina and sit on the dock, man. And you could catch some big old carp <laughs> around the docks. Yeah. But, yeah, you can see them down at our boat dock every once in a while. Yeah, we got one place up here. It's a thing. What was the name of it? But it's where they. They always pitch popcorn to them out there on the docks. Man, you could be walking up to the marina and you'd see them out there just longer than your arms out there oh, just yeah. coming up wanting that popcorn and everything. So, would you guys know what one of these is? <laughs> Looks like a bomb to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
It looks like something we would not be able to use here at Art Lake. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I like that. Do you know what one of these are? <laughs> Do you drop it and then a lot of fish start floating up? <laughs> no. This is, I'll show you how this works. So, as this is about to hit the water, up comes all your bait. I'll dump your bait. All right. Oh. These are called that's a neat. bomb. So, that's basically. Gary, have you seen the, uh, that reminds me when my, my little girl started fishing, I got her one of those rocket fishing poles. You ever yeah. heard of those? It has the enclosed bait so the, the kid doesn't get their hand caught on the hook. That's yeah. what that reminded me of, the way it opens it like out that. There. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. pretty neat. So what do you do, Adam? You just toss that out there and just retrieve it back? Yeah, so <clears throat> we have like a marker float, and then we have like a feeder, uh, a feeder rod. So say, for instance, so... If I was standing up at a lake that I've never fished before, I'd get the marker rod out, which is just a lead with um, like a float on it. So when you feel, say, if you want a fish on gravel, you'd feel the gravel on the on the lead like knocking. If you, you might have obviously felt it yourself. You'd feel where mm -hmm. the gravel is. So you'd let line out and the float would come up and then you'd mark it. So you'd reel that in and you do so many wraps. So we use 12 foot rods. So you do so many wraps, which would be so many feet out and then you'd switch to your baiting rod so that would just tie onto the end of your baiting rod you do so many wraps and as you cast it out it literally just so that's obviously tied to your feeder rod and then that just as it hits it will open up that's neat yeah i like that well boys i tell y'all i I love sitting here talking and everything, but I think I'm going to have to get out here and go try catching me some bait. <laughs> I'm going to have some dinner myself. Yeah, I guess we're going to head on out pretty soon, too. Yeah, I got to try catching me some bluegill. I'm going to bed if that counts. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it there, Adam? It's uh, five to midnight. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, it's getting late for you. We normally up late anyway. We normally wait for uh, catfish terry or carver family fishing or Sue's knocking about. I know catfish terry was trying, well, telling the wife to wake me up the other night. So <laughs> I got a couple I of elbows. <laughs> I tell you, Adam, you and Chelsea are great supporters, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Really appreciate you. Oh, not really? lying man me and dad we'll sit at lunch and stuff just talk about you guys all the time oh man it's nice to know that man we uh cannot wait for you guys for new for like we gotta say that to coming out <laughs> and like I say if i don't see time pop up within the first hour or two i start getting worried about them if i don't terry but, you know i'm working yeah that's what i tell everybody i know he's yeah. out working we're we're because, real busy right now. Yeah, I'd be glad when well, it's slowed need, down. Yeah, you need to get you some time off, man. And get out there and oh, fish. definitely, definitely. Be because it'll wear you out, man. I tell you, and you'll pay oh, more yeah. years to come. Yeah, but uh, well, guys, get out this there and fun. enjoy it. Hey, yeah, I, I love the it. time. I've, I enjoyed I've it. Been wanting you on here, but uh, Wish we this got is Carver awesome. in here. Yeah. I guess he's got something going on right now. Yeah, we'll get him Chrissy, in on the next one. Chrissy, appreciate you being in here. <laughs> Bye, Chrissy. Uh, Life Adventures has already left us, I think. Yeah, she left. Yeah. We still got eight people watching. We got, well, we got uh, four more people creeping. Yeah, no, Chrissy's <laughs> one of them. It's not us, is it? Just <laughs> no. It's like, is it always watching? <laughs> It says we got well, we got seven watching, so I think Chrissy left. So I'm sure I'm sure Carver Outdoors is still watching it or got it on. Yeah. But it's been okay. a good stream now. Yeah, yeah, this is really easy to use too. Yeah, I, that's what I like about it. A lot easier than hangouts. Yeah. Could you do this from the lake, Terry? If we got somebody operating it from home. They could let me in the chat, and that would get us live streaming from the lake. We should try that. Having a thousand, we need to do it sometime. Yeah. 
And uh, but yeah, that'd be neat, man. Cool. That way, that way we could get past that thousand rule. As long as we got some. Matter of fact, bait on them is going to try it tonight. But I, I know it'll work because Carver and them's been jumping in on their phone, so it'll work. I might have to watch for them later now. Yeah, yeah, they're out catfishing and bass fishing tonight. Mm -hmm. So, but like I say, I enjoyed it, y'all. But I better go try getting me some bait if I'm going to fish for a little while. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good night. It was good talking to y'all and seeing you. Tom, uh, you too, Tom. Here. All right. But Tom, Tom go out yeah. and have fun fishing tomorrow, buddy. Oh, I will. Relax I a little bit. Will. Yep. And just everybody be careful. Chris All right. Said it. And <laughs> now, I'll see y'all sometime. All right. Tomorrow. Good night. Uh, I don't get you some rest, and I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we've got a bit of a road trip going on tomorrow, so uh, we're trying to stream live from the car which is going to be about an hour and 20 minutes so right. well you're probably you be there by the time i wake up <laughs> well <laughs> that doesn't surprise me oh i forgot to say did you uh see after, so after the night of um the story about the uh the aim this is what chelsea went out on bartman <laughs> <laughs> so what? could you could you say what is it? It's a little alien than a UFO. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah so, that's it now. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, thanks for that. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. She sat behind me giggling. She's uh, she's still very hot. <laughs> and uh, my boy's still awake. As you, you might be able to hear him shout me. So Yeah, I can I've, hear him a little bit in the background. Yeah, I've got to go and do daddy duties. One minute, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Carver, these... These headphones did great, man. Good. I'm glad that you'd be able to hear through them and stuff. Yeah. Well, Adam, you better get out of here. The boss. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Right. Whatever you do, have a good one. Tight That's lines, like lads. Kim the other day making my video. He's like, "Daddy." I'm like, "Yeah." Oh, <laughs> <Kim." laughs> hey, Adam. Bless you. Right. I hey, will Adam, catch you on the next one. We enjoyed it, Adam. Yeah. No, it's been good. I really enjoyed it. It's nice to catch up yeah. with you. It's really nice. And I appreciate you hanging out with me this morning too, but yeah, not a problem, not a problem. We won't miss but, it. Uh, yeah, we'll get back. Go, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. Take care, lads, and tight lines. Yeah, take it easy, man. I appreciate everything. No worries, man. Tell no Chelsea we said hi. Hang on a minute. Terry says hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> she said, hey, how much longer right. y'all get till the baby pops out? Uh, the 30th of November, so what's that, June? I don't know. It's early, late even. Oh, so she's just going to get crankier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, y'all get, will... get you some rest. It it doesn't matter. We're still going to be up early morning. Honestly, yeah. it's, it, we're still going to be up, don't worry. So... If you go live later, I'm not probably coming and say hello to you, lads. All righty. All right, bud. Appreciate <laughs> All it. Right. No worries. All right. Good night, lads. All right. See you later. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. Come in, mate. Hey, Chrissy's still in here, random. Appreciate y'all tonight. Yeah, we appreciate it. Like I say, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it was a big learning experience for me. I just got to start balancing a little bit better on the comments and uh. Well, the like I say, it's to hard you. to do, but we'll we'll work through it. I just don't want everybody to feel left out over there. No. But uh, Chrissy, we're going to run to the lake and fish a while. So I'm going to try having yeah. coffee in the morning. Yeah, I may have to get me a cup of coffee. Yeah. But we'll see y'all in the morning. Appreciate it. Yep, I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate it. So, uh, as always, have a great night and God bless. And I will talk to everyone soon. All right, Chrissy. Thank you. Random buddy. Good seeing you.
Yeah, I'll do it, Randall. Is that it? crazy? Yeah. Buddy, uh, what are you, you want to ride over or what are you going to do? Are yeah, you going? We're, yeah, we'll get, uh, we'll get dressed and we'll get out there. I just got to put a couple things in the car and that'd be it. All right, I'm going to get ready and head on over there and try catching some bait. All right, you going to... Uh, Same place, yeah. Yeah, all right. No, nah, I guess I'll go and just try getting a couple over there. All right. Yeah, I'll, so, uh, I'll load my stuff up and I'll, we'll get over there. You'll probably beat us over there. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to be trying to catch bait. So, But we'll see y'all in a little bit. All righty. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Dad, I don't want to go over there. Where are you supposed to go?